Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is officially the new year and I thought it would be kind of fun to create a vision board. I've seen a few people do this. I think basically what you do is like cut things out from magazines and put them onto some kind of board and yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. And I thought that this would be kind of fun to do, not just for the new year or anything, cause I think that you can change whenever you want, but the new year is a good time to just reflect on what you've done and think about your goals for the future. And it's kind of fun to reflect those goals in some creative way like this. So I have gone through a ton of magazines here and cut out a whole bunch of clips from that. So here is a bunch of what I have cut out. And I have lots of goals, but not all of them are expressed in what I could find in a magazine. Most of what I will be putting together here will be health oriented just because that's kind of what I found, but I have other goals like academic goals and things like that. But I cut out things like, you know, some vegetables and this lady doing yoga <laughs> and a koala bear, you know, like there's a lot of random things. I have things for travel and just being happy and healthy and all of that. So I'm gonna try to put this all together and then I'll talk about it some more at the end. I didn't wanna film me like cutting all of these out because that's just boring and long, but I will like go through some of the magazines that I went through to get all of these. So I have like a Scientific American Mind magazine, National Geographic, Science News Magazine. Wow, I'm a real nerd. Consumer Reports, but it was about your smart guide to healthier eating, so, you know, that's good. A Woman's Health Magazine, another Science News, another Consumer Reports, Earth and Space Science News, two of those, and a National Geographic Expeditions Magazine that has a bunch of like travel stuff in it. I basically just used magazines that I had at the house already, which meant a lot of National Geographic, Scientific Mind, and stuff like that. But I was still able to find some good stuff. So for my vision board, I am starting out with this, like, what is this? I don't even know. Quality Artists Canvas Panel. So it's not like a thick canvas. This is very thin. It's kind of just like a board and it's a 12 by 16 inch in case anyone was interested. But I don't really like the plain white background because I like lots of color in my life. So I got out all the paints that I own. Actually, I have a lot more up at school, but I don't have them here at my house. So I think what I'm going to do is use this metallic like silver paint and this blue paint and kind of like mix them together and just go to town on this canvas and make it look like something. <laughs> I should also probably be wearing different clothes, but I am too lazy to change. Ooh, these are very watery paints. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on some paint. Wow, this is very watery. Um, I hope this works. I feel like this kind of just looks like dark and gloomy, like, you know, a stormy day, which is not what I was going for for a vision board. <laughs> but it's mostly gonna be covered by pictures anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry before I can put anything on it, so it is time for intermission. A few moments later. Right, you guys, it is a little bit later now, and this is the finished board all dried. I tried to add some more blue to kind of decrease the stormy, depressing vibe that it was giving. I wish it had some like purple or pink or something to make it like more fun, but I didn't have very many colors to choose from. But most of it is going to be covered with pictures anyway, so the background doesn't matter that much. So now I'm going to take all of these cutout things that I have here uh, that I showed you guys earlier and just try to arrange them in some way to make it fit. All right, I think I have finally come up with a design that I like. So now I'm just going to use this double-sided tape and put everything down. And then I will use my Mod Podge to just seal it all together so that it stays this way and does not come apart. 
but I don't need the camera on the whole time that I'm going through and taping all of this down and mod podging it and all of that. So I'm just going to get that done and let it dry again and then when it's all finished I will go through it with you guys and show you what I put on it and why and talk about some of my goals and stuff like that. So yeah, see you when this is all done. One eternity later. Alright you guys, I am back and this is all finished now. Unfortunately, the Mod Podge did not quite work how I thought it would. It was very wet, so it kind of made everything wrinkly. Like, you know how when you get paper wet, it becomes wrinkled? And also, the brush that I had, it had like black specks all over it. So now there's black specks all over everything. So as you can maybe see on here, there's like little black specks everywhere, especially like up here and in the water bottle and on this person. I feel like you can definitely see it. Maybe it doesn't look too bad if it's far away. It's also very wrinkly, as you can see, like that. I was hoping that the Mod Podge would like make it all flat and nice, but that definitely did not happen. But oh well, you live and you learn. But I'll just go ahead and start with up here. So I've got like this eat smarter, eat healthier, which I definitely want to live by. I think it's really important not to like mindlessly snack and stuff like that. So I want to pay more attention to what I'm eating and when and all of that. I also just have other kind of motivational phrases like hard work, grit, determination. And here it says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And this is the only thing on here that isn't from a magazine. I think I got this as a bookmark or something, but I decided to put it on here because I like that phrase. And below that, I have all of these phrases that I cut out from a magazine. So I have be inquisitive, be gutsy, be focused, be genuine, and be boundless. And to kind of go with the be inquisitive, I've got a brain over here because not only do I want to focus on my studies of studying the brain, but I would like to continue to use my brain well. <laughs> over here, I've got some health related things like a water bottle to, you know, remind me to hydrate as well as lots of vegetables because I would like to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables, but especially vegetables in the new year. I have a personal finance thing here with a little piggy bank and stuff coming out of it because I do really want to start working on my finances and really planning things out more, having a budget, and also investing. I have this nice looking yoga lady here, and that just kind of goes with working out along with this and being strong, fitness, all of that. I didn't really organize anything together. I tried to do that at first, like I kind of have travel stuff down here, but it kind of just went wherever it fit. I really like this part. It has the back of a girl and it says strong, you, capable, curvy. I love that because you can be strong and you can be confident in all of that no matter what shape your body is. One of my other favorite things about this is this choose love not hate because I think that is very important, especially in today's world. And down here I just have some travel things, so like places I really want to go. I think behind here this is the Amazon River. Here I have a koala bear because I really want to go to Australia and New Zealand. Here I have a picture of Iceland because I will actually be going to Iceland in June. And here I have a picture of the Canadian Rockies because that is somewhere else that I would really like to go. Other than that I just have other random things on here like happy and visions and all of that. So yeah, that is my vision board, and it's not particularly for 2018 or anything like that. I just wanted something where I could visually see and represent my goals and stuff like that. Mainly, I just want to be happy and healthy. One goal I have is like I would like to lose about 10 pounds or so, but honestly, it's not about the numbers. I would just like to be a little more confident about my body and happy about myself and my health. I already eat pretty well and exercise often, but I just want to keep that motivation and goal going. I think it'll also be a lot easier for me to keep on track with that kind of stuff once I get back up to my apartment because then everything is on me. I buy my own food, I make my own meals, all of that. But yeah, I'm gonna go hang this up in my room now. I think right above my desk just so I can see it every day and be reminded of my goals and what I want to do. I hope that maybe if you wanna create your own vision board, you got some ideas for this. Again, um, this is just my own way of doing it. You can do it however you want. I know a lot of people like to split it into like four different sections and have like health and fitness, travel, like blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But I just kind of put it wherever. And actually I like how the background turned out. Um, I think if I had too many colors and too much going on in the background, it would just make the foreground more confusing. So yeah, this is my vision board. Uh, let me know in the comments below what one of your goals is. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye.